something came to me as I was watching it. And let me know what you think about this idea. Mm. This story is Enterprise's take on hardcore Star Trek fans who are enamored with Linda Park. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the reason that the the mirrors in the TVs are such a focus and that she's in it is because it's about the audience watching Hoshi constantly. Okay. And this guy is the Star Trek fan who says, I know everything about you. I've watched all the episodes. Mm -hmm. Like, let me connect with you on some level. Just give me a chance to prove to you that I know you better than anybody else. And Hoshi is going, eh, I'll sign your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> how about, you, how about sure. you get out of here? Sure. There's a little bit of that vibe in this, I think. I don't know if it's intentional, but it really strikes me as that kind of a thing where it's a it's a fan who has built up a fantasy in their head. And then when he meets her, this is like his James Bond-esque fantasy about how he would right. woo Hoshi, but he's too ugly or whatever in real life to be able to do it. Very Beauty and the Beast. But in a Star trek -y way of knowing everything about these characters that you're so invested in and it not working on her for some reason. It does. It does feel a lot like in high school when uh, you, you try to talk to someone and you try to keep it on the DL that you've been stalking their MySpace page. <laughs> so you know everything about them. You know all their friends' names, but sure. they don't know that you know that because you've never talked to them. Before. Right. Yep. Um, yeah, I could see that. I If that's what they were going for, I'm a little bit surprised that they didn't do it with T'Pol because yes, that's true. Yeah. Hoshi is as, as it's stated in the episode, she's keeps to herself. I E she's not really on the show a, a ton. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't, I was not following it at the time, but um, it seems like T'Pol probably got more attention than Hoshi did when it was on. She However, would, yeah. I mean, Hey, that's maybe maybe she maybe Hoshi's in in high school speak maybe she's the more attainable of the two. Yes, and that's why that's why they're being creepy with her. Well, I think that to Paul gives off the ice cold vibes that are not right. conducive to this. Like it has to be a more, um, uh, not not uh, like an easier target sort of for the mm -hmm. for the. And I think that Hoshi fits that better. I don't. Sure. I don't know that that's intentional here. This is a female writer who wrote this, mm -hmm. um, which is what kind of gives me some kind of idea that that's, that's almost in the back of her mind, that it seems like it's just kind it's of a, yeah. a creepy guy that keeps coming after you. I don't think that it... Um, the one the downside to it, to that argument, is just that maybe because the episode has to end the way it does, it doesn't really end satisfyingly in a way that it has any kind of statement about that situation. Like it's right. not really, it can't judge him because he has to give the information and it can't judge Hoshi. So it's just kind of a, this like lifeless ending to it. And it seems right. like it's a better idea than it is an actual story by that point. Yeah. It kind of ends with, with her saying, I like you as a friend and he's right. like, well, fine, I guess. Yeah. Just let me uh, know. Just let me know. Yeah. And, and in that way, it feels like the male fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> That's the male fantasy version. That feels like a little bit of a portrayal of the earlier version where it was just kind right. of a strange character coming after you. But that's really all I could think about with it. I know that's basically linked to the Beauty and the Beasts, sort of, not really. But it's that kind of an idea or that kind of an interaction. But that's the only thing I've got going. And it's the only reason I can explain the incredible focus on mirrors and TVs in this. Because yeah. it's supposed to be Hoshi on the TV. Yeah, that's, that's, that's totally possible. I mean, I, I, I don't disagree with that reading. Um, I, I do wish that they had something more interesting to say about yeah, it. Yeah, that's the, the typical Enterprise thing. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, it's like, oh, cool, making those references and drawing those lines together, but, you know, in service of what, really? Right. You know? 